All right, everyone, we're back here at Sean's Trains. I'm still waiting for some information from Rapido before I release my video on the F40s. Um, that I hope is coming out in the next couple of days. I put a lot of work into it. I just converted everything last night, and then um, Jordan got back to me and said they'd be happy to send me some footage for the F40, and so I'm waiting for that because that's going to make it really just over the top special for me. So with that said, we're going to take a look at replacing the couplers on this fella with some KDs because I think they look better, they work better, um, and then these guys just have way too much swing for me. Um, I need something that I can push pull with a little bit. So we're going to take a look at that. We've got our box here from Kato, which has a conversion kit. It's just this little fella. It's new pockets. And uh, it's enough for two cars, which is great because I thought about getting a second baggage. So we're going to pop this guy open. Make sure you guys can see what I'm doing here. Oh, yeah. All right. And I want to say a special thank you to Stephen Hamilton for showing me this. I did not know about this until he had mentioned it. Um, so thank you very much, bud. I really do appreciate it. So we got our four screws. And it looks like... We just have to take this guy off. So I think these might be the instructions. Um, interestingly enough, this does not have any information for the HO scale models. This is all for the N scale stuff. That's awesome. Cool. Great. So, let's improvise. I have not watched a video or anything on this. I'm really sorry you have to see the top of my head. I know it's not pretty. Um, and eventually I do want to do the interior lighting kit to this as well. It'll light up the ends. I think that'll be real nice. So, I'm going to take a little look. And we're just going to start taking stuff apart. That's what we'll do. That always works out well without instructions. We're just going to tackle this thing head on, full force. Here's our couplers, trip pin pliers, regular pliers, and nippers. Let's just dive right in. That kind of scared me right there for a second. Okay, so we got our trucks out. Let's take a look here. I want to say that perhaps with a little pressure, oh, that was it, a little pressure. That's all it is, folks, a little pressure. Boom. It just snaps in there and snaps out just like that. All it is is a pair of clips and some centering pins. Beautiful. Now to assemble the new ones. This. doesn't look friendly. I gotta say, I'm not actually like super thrilled about this. The whole idea, in my mind, was for less coupler swing, not the same coupler swing with a different coupler. Because then I could have just left this thing in there. But what it looks like, if I can do this without losing the coupler, is it just fits... on this. 
is an interesting feature. And I have to say, it does not fit well. Actually, so this little guide here, um, we can see the crosshairs in this little channel, and it doesn't really fit in there at all. Um, holds it down at an angle, which is not cool. Not what we want. So, I'm assuming we have to now play with this to literally straighten that out. I'm guessing that's what these little plates are for. There's the other side. Yeah, that's going to hold it down at an angle. We do not want that. Um, so this is basically a useless kit. Um, unless I'm doing something entirely wrong. Brace is just too thick. So we're going to just trim down some of that height there. See how that does. Oh, much better. So I just trimmed down some of the height on that. You can see a little bit better there, I hope. It is nice and, I think, flat. We are about to find out, folks. So then this whole pocket just kind of goes like that. Holds the coupler in there, like so. No wiggle room, but it moves nicely. For the most part, I mean, it is what it is, I guess. And then, I mean, I guess that's that. Of course, I put it in upside down. <laughs> Funny guy. So, I'll pop it back apart. That's why you don't glue things the first time. Okay, so flip it over, guide the pin in with a drawbar, take our cover. This plastic is like super slippery, like super duper slippery. Pinch everything back together again, test it. Just a little stiff there, no biggie. And then press fit that guy into the end, just like so. And now we've got our new screws. I'm not sure which one we need to use. We've got four in here. Okay, so that is in there. Tighten this down just a little bit more. Okay, and our first coupler is installed. Um, I like it. It does look better. I wish it didn't swing as much as it does. I don't really care for that. I, I wanted a, just a regular, I wanted the swinging portion to be up here. That's all I wanted. and That's not going to happen. So we're just going to go ahead, assemble the next one. We're going to save those parts. We never know when we might need them. Take this guy. Take this guy. We're going to repeat the process, this time with a little bit more knowledge. We know we need to trim these ends down just a hair. When I say that, it's like by half. Because they're not that thick to begin with. Put our coupler in there. And it, it holds that really snug. Honest to God. It's, it's quite snug. Um, so it's going to go like... My goodness, I am just... This stuff is unbelievably slippery. I don't know why. 
It's just the plastic they use. It's just ridiculously, it's like greased almost, it feels like. That's how slick it is. Put this cover on. Start at the back. And then we've got two pins on both sides of this cover. And the ones that are further back here are the ones that need to go into this po into these pockets on this guy. This feels like such slippery plastic. Okay. Again, I just did it backwards. My goodness. I'm the same guy that can put a USB port in it wrong twice in a row. I'm telling you. So there is only enough in here to do one car. Again, we got the swinging here working good. Um, so to purchase this was five dollars. You have to go on Cato's website. You have to buy it through them. Um, it's five dollars for the actual set for this kit per car, and then it's seven dollars for shipping. Um, I don't know why this couldn't come in like one of those, like foam envelopes or something. To reduce it, I don't see the need to have it actually packaged, but I'm not in charge of anything important, so I don't get to make those decisions. But I suppose I should just be happy that this kit's available. Okay, boom, installed. Let's put the trucks in. Back that off just a hair. Put this one in. We've got two extra screws. So I don't know where those go. I'll be honest. I don't know if they're supposed to do something. I don't know if those are the ones I was supposed to use. But we're not using them. So there we go. We got our uh, new baggage car with coupler with uh, Katie semi scale couplers on both ends, um, which is an improvement. I like that. I love improvements. Uh, one thing I will say is that the floorboards are a little squishy. They kind of move up and down a little bit more than I think they should. Oh hey there copper. And uh, so now we're going to move the layout and we're going to check the coupler height. Alright so we're going to put our car on the track here. So we've got it rolling nicely. It's not rolling as nicely as it was before. I never really checked it though, so I can't say too much. Not the big deal. What we want to do here is check the coupler height, because that could be a big deal. And I can see right here, we are um, not too far off actually. Let me see if I can get a better view. So we're actually not too far off. I'm pretty happy with it. So what I'm gonna do first is bend up the trip pins. Um, don't mind the crying dog. He is literally just having withdrawals from mom because she's leaving to go grocery shopping, so he's down in the basement with me. All right, so we bend that one up. We bend this one up, and now we should be good. Boom, just like that, perfect. So, let me get back here a little bit more. All right, you can see that's pretty good. All right, so that's installed. That's it for now. Um, just a quick little fun video. I'm going to attend to my puppy because he is sad. Mama's gone. She went to the grocery store. Don't chew on that. Hey, no, it's my fault. I'm not buying another webcam. Go chew on mommy's sock. All right, folks. You guys take care. We'll see you in the next video. Out.